99% of the applications on the planet are and should remain monoliths. Full stop, end of story. You should only do, distri I mean, I love distributed systems. I've lived in it for probably 25 years. And like, I just get joy from doing this kind of things. And I read the papers and like, it, I find it super exciting. Uh, and also it's a 1% situation. So absolutely start with mo a monolith. And so only when you're at the scale that I'm talking about, where the monolith is running out of gas, do you do you want to move to a distributed system in the form of uh, typically microservices? Okay, so what do I mean by running out of gas? Two things. Developer velocity is slowing down because one of the benefits and then costs of a monolith is like it's a single repo and everybody's on top of each other. When developers are stepping on each other's toes, you want to pull the, uh, the things apart. And that's going to solve essentially an organizational problem, an organizational like efficiency and scalability problem. The other argument is straight up load, where like parts of the system need to scale much faster than other parts of the system and simply vertically scaling or like even horizontally stamping out more instances of the monolith isn't going to cut it. Um, and so that's those are the two arguments that I have deployed <laughs> uh, over over time about why you would want to move from monolith to microservice. But again, I will triple underline the vast majority of software on the planet should remain monolithic and it, you should feel like it's too late and then only then you should do it.